Hey guys, it's Dawn, and I'm back with another plan with me today. Finally, right? I know I've been gone for a while, but today we're planning July 25th through the 31st. And I wanted to just give you a sneak peek on the last spread that I did. This was actually my wedding week, which is why it's so busy, and it was also the week of the 4th of July. So I just recently went back and put in some photos of me and my maid of honor. I do have some pictures of me and my husband now, but they're not finished processing with my photographer yet. But I did have a chance to put in our cruise to Alaska photos. I did just put a couple in here as the week went on. Really nothing was planned in there. I just wanted to document uh, sort of what we did that week and put in some cute little photos. So this week is a very, very simple week for me, and you will notice in my decorating. But I'm mostly using this calendar kit, and it's a calendar kit from Hobby Lobby, and I use them quite often. I'm also going to be using some of these beach stickers. Now, on Saturday and Sunday of this week, we are going to the beach here in Washington State. We're going all the way over to Pacific. And uh, I'm also going to be using these little stickers here that I got from the sales section in Hobby Lobby. I think they're so cute and very beach appropriate as well. So here I'm just pulling out some washi tape that I think I might use. I don't end up using all of it, but the first thing that I'm doing is running this red and white polka dot washi tape down the sidebar. And I believe this washi tape came from Michaels. So now I'm using some of the washi strips from this calendar kit. It comes with a lot of different washi strips. My biggest complaint is that I can only go down one side with one strip. So the sides can't match one another. So on one side I did this sort of blue stripe and the other side I did this sort of lacy brown and white print. So if you need to have your, uh, your spread even on each page, then this calendar kit might frustrate you a little bit. But I find it, it doesn't really bother me too much. So I put in a Pacific Coast Highway 1 sticker up here in the corner and am just using my Happy Planner sticker kit to make a to-do checklist over on the sidebar. And then I'm also grabbing this star checklist from Libby & Co and running that down the side as well. All right, so here we're going to go ahead and put down some half boxes. Now this was my bad. I purchased these half boxes from Libby & Co. And I actually purchased the ones for the Plum Planner, I believe is what it's called. But the boxes don't exactly fit in my Erin Condren boxes, but I've decided to not let them go to waste and I use them anyway. So I'm going to create a to-do list on Monday. This is one of the days that I have off this week. I'm actually working Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday this week. And I'm just using a mixture of Libby & Co. stickers and most are from these sheets that you see here. They're just the to-do sheets in every color option that Libby & Co has. And I use those a lot. Here I'm putting a half box down on Monday evening. Also, the half box is from Libby & Co. And it's the Chevron half boxes. Very scattered this week, as you can tell. You can tell that I have not been doing a whole lot of planning. So it's going to take me a little while to get back into my groove. So hang in there with me and we'll get back to a system, trust me. 
I put a flag down on Friday from my calendar kit from Hobby Lobby, and that's just marking my work day. I usually use the top um, row in uh, my vertical planner here to mark out my work days. So I also use an Erin Condren day off sticker there on Thursday. I'm not sure where I got these beach stickers from. I can't remember if for some reason it comes to me, I will link it down below, but I bought them so long ago, I, I just can't remember. But it was a set of two sheets here that you see. And I'm just sort of going to town decorating and going back and forth between my calendar kit with some different size washi strips and a chevron washi strip and then just placing these cute little stickers down. Now granted, the beach stickers here are pretty like sunny palm tree beaches like the California Pacific Coast, but here in Washington we still have beautiful beaches. It's just not quite as tropical, but you still get the gist. It's still a beach. So I put this cute little sign sticker down in the left hand corner. I love it. it. Just says surf this way, hang 10 this way, beach house, that kind of thing. Super cute. So I'm making another checklist again with Libyan Co stickers here on Thursday, which is also going to be a day off for me. I try to keep my to do lists only for the days that I'm not scheduled to work. I work long 12 hour days, so if I made a to-do list, nothing would get done on it. These are little emoji or emoticon stickers that I got at a little shop and I can't remember what it's called. It's sort of Forever 21 like, but it has a bunch of novelty gifts in it instead of clothing. If I think of the name, I will link it down below. I apologize, but I bought them a long time ago, but finally how to use for them on my little beach spread here. And I put down my horse on Monday for my barn time and the horse stickers are from Hobby Lobby. And I'm using a wine sticker down below and a coffee sticker as well on Tuesday because that's going to be my first day of my class and I'm using this little appointment sticker here to mark my payday and then the little money symbol is from Oh Hello Stationery. I have three birthdays this week so I'm marking them with these little candle sticks and I got these from Michaels. They're just like a little birthday candle. So I just put one on each day that there's a birthday and I utilize the bottom bar here for this as well. I don't have anything specific that I'm using the bottom bar for right now. So I figured the birthday birthdays could go down there as well. Here I'm just adding some more little decorative stickers off my uh, beach sticker kit. And then I'm picking out some pens so I can start doing some writing. So my training that I'm going to is called Blue Courage and it's on the 26th and the 27th of this month. So I'm just writing that down. And just doing some pretty basic lettering. I'm basically just bolding out the letters. Nothing too fancy. Plus, for the last couple of weeks, I haven't really been playing with any lettering or doing any practicing, so I'm really, really out of practice and uh, need to spend some time with my planner. But I'm getting back into it, I promise. So Monday is going to be my barn time, and I am just using this Micron pen that's blue and just doing the same thing, really basic lettering and just making sure that it's bold enough for me to see it. Then on my to-do list, I only have a couple of things this week um, that I actually need to get done. My big headache is this wedding planning that I went through, and it's over. I'm so happy for it to be over. I'm so happy to be married, and uh, I'm very, very excited to continue um, 
our lives together. We've been together a long time, so nothing has really changed other than it's actually official, which is exciting. You'll notice I'm not wearing my ring while filming this video. I had to turn it in to the jeweler to get the two rings fused together. So it should be done soon. So while I was chatting there, I just marked down The Bachelorette, which is on Monday evening and one of the birthdays that I have this week. And then I'm just marking that Thursday is a payback day, so I don't have to take vacation. Basically, my work is just giving me this day because of my training. So I don't get paid overtime for my training, but I get a, an extra day off later. And here I'm just using some sort of boxy lettering with some stripes in it to mark out my work day. And then filling out my to-do list on Thursday. Right now it's still pretty short, but this video I'm actually filming on the 21st, so I'm very, very early but I knew I had to get it done early if I was going to get it done. So this will look very, very blank, but things will get filled in as we go. So that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I know it's very basic and it's a little early, but I wanted to get it out there and finish this video because I've been so bad and I'm so behind and I just got to get my creative juices going again. So I appreciate you guys watching. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see more Plan With Me videos. I also will have a few Etsy hauls coming up as I'm getting back into the swing. Thanks for watching.